Calcium Channel Blocker, Wikipedia Article Audio Calcium Channel Blockers Calcium channel antagonists or calcium antagonists are several medications that disrupt the movement of calcium. Calcium channel blockers are used as antihypertensive drugs, i.e., as medications to decrease blood pressure in patients with hypertension. CCBs are particularly effective against large vessel stiffness, one of the common causes of elevated systolic blood pressure in elderly patients. Calcium channel blockers are also frequently used to alter heart rate, to prevent cerebral vasospasm, and to reduce chest pain caused by angina pectoris. N-type, L-type, and T-type voltage-dependent calcium channels are present in the zona glomerulosa of the human adrenal, and CCBs can directly influence the biosynthesis of aldosterone in adrenocortical cells with consequent impact on the clinical treatment of hypertension with these agents. Classes Dihydropyridine CCBs have been shown to be slightly more effective than beta blockers at lowering cardiovascular mortality, but they are associated with more side effects. Potential major risks however were mainly found to be associated with short-acting CCBs. Dihydropyridine calcium channel blockers are derived from the molecule dihydropyridine and often used to reduce systemic vascular resistance and arterial pressure. Sometimes when they are used to treat angina, the vasodilation and hypotension can lead to reflex tachycardia which can be detrimental for patients with ischemic symptoms because of the resulting increase in myocardial oxygen demand. Dihydropyridine calcium channel blockers can worsen proteinuria in patients with nephropathy. This CCB class is easily identified by the suffix dipene. Phenylalkylamine calcium channel blockers are relatively selective for myocardium, reduce myocardial oxygen demand and reverse coronary vasospasm, and are often used to treat angina. They have minimal vasodilatory effects compared with dihydropyridines and therefore cause less reflex tachycardia, making it appealing for treatment of angina, where tachycardia can be the most significant contributor to the heart's need for oxygen. Therefore, as vasodilation is minimal with the phenylalkylamines, the major mechanism of action is causing negative enotropy. Phenylalkylamines are thought to access calcium channels from the intracellular side, although the evidence is somewhat mixed. Benzothiazepine calcium channel blockers belong to the benzothiazepine class of compounds and are an intermediate class between phenylalkylamine and dihydropyridines in their selectivity for vascular calcium channels. By having both cardiac depressant and vasodilator actions, benzothiazepines are able to reduce arterial pressure without producing the same degree of reflex cardiac stimulation caused by dihydropyridines. Non-dihydropyridine While most of the agents listed above are relatively selective, there are additional agents that are considered non-selective. These include mibifradyl, bepradil, flunorizen, flusperiline, and fendiline. Gabapentinoids, such as gabapentin and pregabalin, are selective blockers of alpha-2-delta subunit containing voltage-gated calcium channels. They are used primarily to treat epilepsy and neuropathic pain. Phenylalkylamine Ziconotide a peptide compound derived from the omega conotoxin, is a selective N-type calcium channel blocker that has potent analgesic properties that are equivalent to approximate 1,000 times that of morphine. It must be delivered via the intrathecal route via an intrathecal infusion pump. Side effects of these drugs may include but are not limited to 
research indicates ethanol is involved in the inhibition of L-type calcium channels. One study showed the nature of ethanol binding to L-type calcium channels is according to first-order kinetics with a Hill coefficient around 1. This indicates ethanol binds independently to the channel, expressing non-cooperative binding. Early studies showed a link between calcium and the release of vasopressin by the secondary messenger system. Vasopressin levels are reduced after the ingestion of alcohol. The lower levels of vasopressin from the consumption of alcohol have been linked to ethanol acting as an antagonist to voltage-gated calcium channels. Studies conducted by Tristman ETAL and the Aplysia confirm inhibition of VGCC by ethanol. Voltage clamp recordings have been done on the Aplysia neuron. VGCCs were isolated and calcium current was recorded using patch clamp technique having ethanol as a treatment. Recordings were replicated at varying concentrations at a voltage clamp of plus 30 MV. Results showed calcium current decreased as concentration of ethanol increased. Similar results have shown to be true in single-channel recordings from isolated nerve terminal of rats that ethanol does in fact block VGCCs. Benzothiazepine Studies done by Katsura ETAL in 2006 on mouse cerebral cortical neurons, show the effects of prolonged ethanol exposure. Neurons were exposed to sustained ethanol concentrations of 50 mm for three days in vitro. Western blot and protein analysis were conducted to determine the relative amounts of VGCC subunit expression. Alpha-1C, Alpha-1D, and Alpha-2-Delta-1 subunits showed an increase of expression after sustained ethanol exposure. However, the beta-4 subunit showed a decrease. Furthermore, alpha-1A, alpha-1B, and alpha-1F subunits did not alter in their relative expression. Thus, sustained ethanol exposure may participate in the development of ethanol dependence in neurons. Non-selective other experiments done by Malas ETAL have looked into ethanol effects on voltage-gated calcium channels on detrusor smooth muscle cells in guinea pigs. Perforated patch clamp technique was used having intracellular fluid inside the pipette and extracellular fluid in the bath with added 0.3% vol vol ethanol. Ethanol decreased the Ca2+ current in DSM cells and induced muscle relaxation. Ethanol inhibits VGCCs and is involved in alcohol-induced relaxation of the urinary bladder. Others Mild CCB toxicity is treated with supportive care. Nondohydropyridine CCBs may produce profound toxicity and early decontamination, especially for slow-release agents, is essential. For severe overdoses, treatment usually includes close monitoring of vital signs and the addition of vasopressive agents and intravenous fluids for blood pressure support. Intravenous calcium gluconate and atropine are first-line therapies. If the time of the overdose is known and presentation is within two hours of ingestion, activated charcoal, gastric lavage, and polyethylene glycol may be used to decontaminate the gut. Efforts for gut decontamination may be extended to within eight hours of ingestion with extended release preparations. Hyperinsulinemia euglycemia therapy has emerged as a viable form of treatment. Although the mechanism is unclear, increased insulin may mobilize glucose from peripheral tissues to serve as an alternative fuel source for the heart. Theoretical treatment with lipid emulsion therapy has been considered in severe cases, but is not yet standard of care. Side effects Caution should be taken when using verapamil with a beta blocker due to the risk of severe bradycardia. If unsuccessful, 
ventricular pacing should be used. In the body's tissues, the concentration of calcium ions. Voltage-dependent calcium channels are responsible for excitation contraction coupling of skeletal, smooth, and cardiac muscle and for regulating aldosterone and cortisol secretion in endocrine cells of the adrenal cortex. In the heart, they are also involved in the conduction of the pacemaker signals. CCBs used as medications primarily have four effects. Since blood pressure is an intimate feedback with cardiac output and peripheral resistance, with relatively low blood pressure, the afterload on the heart decreases, this decreases how hard the heart must work to eject blood into the aorta, so the amount of oxygen required by the heart decreases accordingly. This can help ameliorate symptoms of ischemic heart disease such as angina pectoris. Ethanol Reducing the force of contraction of the myocardium is known as the negative enotropic effect of calcium channel blockers. Slowing down the conduction of electrical activity within the heart, by blocking the calcium channel during the plateau phase of the action potential of the heart, results in a negative chronotropic effect, or a lowering of heart rate. This can increase the potential for heart block. The negative chronotropic effects of CCBs make them a commonly used class of agents in individuals with atrial fibrillation or flutter in whom control of the heart rate is generally a goal. Negative chronotropy can be beneficial when treating a variety of disease processes because lower heart rates represent lower cardiac oxygen requirements. Elevated heart rate can result in significantly higher cardiac work, which can result in symptoms of angina. Toxicity The class of CCBs known as dihydropyridines mainly affect arterial vascular smooth muscle and lower blood pressure by causing vasodilation. The phenylalkylamine class of CCBs mainly affect the cells of the heart and have negative enotropic and negative chronotropic effects. The benzothiazepine class of CCBs combine effects of the other two classes. Amlodipine, aranidipine, azelnidipine, barnidipine, benadipine, silnidipine not available in US, clavidipine, ephonidipine. Felodipine, Isratipine, Lacidipine, Lurconidipine, Manidipine, Nicardipine, Nifidipine, Nilvadipine, Nimodipine. This substance can pass the blood brain barrier and is used to prevent cerebral vasospasm, Nisoldipine, Nitrendipine, Pronidipine. Because of the negative enotropic effects, the non-dehydropyridine calcium channel blockers should be avoided in individuals with cardiomyopathy. Unlike beta blockers, calcium channel blockers do not decrease the responsiveness of the heart to input from the sympathetic nervous system. Since moment-to-moment -moment blood pressure regulation is carried out by the sympathetic nervous system, Calcium channel blockers allow blood pressure to be maintained more effectively than do beta blockers. However, because dihydropyridine CCBs result in a decrease in blood pressure, the baroreceptor reflex often initiates a reflexive increase in sympathetic activity leading to increased heart rate and contractility. Fendiline, Galapamil, Verapamil Ionic calcium is antagonized by magnesium ions in the nervous system. Because of this, bioavailable supplements of magnesium, possibly including magnesium chloride, magnesium lactate, and magnesium aspartate, may increase or enhance the effects of calcium channel blockade. Mechanism of Action History N-type calcium channels are found in neurons and are involved in the release of neurotransmitter at synapses. Zikinotide is a selective blocker of these calcium channels and acts as an analgesic. 
Dultiazem. Calcium channel blockers were first identified in the lab of German pharmacologist Albrecht Fleckenstein beginning in 1964. In 1021, Avicenna introduced the medicinal use of Taxus baccata for phytotherapy in the canon of medicine. He named this herbal drug Zarnab and used it as a cardiac remedy. This was the first known use of a calcium channel blocker drug, which were not in wide use in the Western world until the 1960s. Constipation, dizziness, headache, redness in the face, fluid buildup in the legs and ankle edema, gingival overgrowth, rapid heart rate, slow heart rate. By acting on vascular smooth muscle, they reduce contraction of the arteries and cause an increase in arterial diameter, a phenomenon called vasodilation, by acting on cardiac muscles, they reduce the force of contraction of the heart, by slowing down the conduction of electrical activity within the heart, they slow down the heartbeat, by blocking the calcium signal on adrenal cortex cells, they directly reduce aldosterone production, which correlates to lower blood pressure.